Welcome YouTubers, it's Steve here with another video for you from Air Gunology. As always on this channel we do air rifles, air pistols and technology reviews and I strongly urge you to check underneath in the YouTube video description. You'll find links in there to all of our channels, our Facebook group, our forums, our cool merchandising and of course our web store where yes you'll be able to find details on these immersive optic scopes. But Hope you like that little intro there. Um, as some of you guys know, um, I've uh, partnered up with the designer of these immersive optic scopes. And for the last six or maybe longer months, I've been doing a lot of field trials of their scopes, uh, checking them out, feeding back. And um, about two months ago, we released the uh, 5 to 30 prismatic scope from Immersive Optics. Uh, check up there somewhere, left or right, I can never remember, but there will be a link to the video up there. And a lot of people have got those scopes. And uh, if you look on the Facebook groups and on the YouTube comments, um, a lot of people are extremely impressed with them you know people were saying well we've never heard of immersive scopes before um, and um, it was like shall we get one or not and those that I've got them have not regretted it and especially at the price point but anyway the 5 to 30 has been out for some time um, and now we've got the 24 series range so these are uh, two new scopes that are out that are on the website at the moment uh, what we got here is the 5 uh, to 24 and then on my impact here I have the 10 to 24 so we'll talk about that one second so let's just go straight on to the immersive optics uh, 5 to 24 so this is of course a prismatic scope um, prismatic scope beautifully engineered fully cnc'd all up um, absolutely gorgeous gorgeous scope so the specs of it obviously are a 24 objective and a five times fixed zoom so that's the thing with prismatic scopes is that you get a fixed zoom but what you get is you get a very short compact scope because the way that the light is bounced off a prism hence the reason it's called prismatic scope you get a short you get a very lightweight scope and the other great thing is you get a great big field of view as well, just the way that the light is done. Now these scopes, there's no skimping on these scopes at all. They're using proper high quality, low dispersion ED glass, which means you get beautiful colors, everything, no aberration, no bluish tints, crisp clear to the center in that really, really ultra wide sort of field of view. So if you take a five times prismatic like this, compare it to five times zoom on a standard scope, you're looking anywhere between two to three times of field of view. Um, and the field of view is all important. We all get tunnel vision sometimes um, looking at uh, an object and we don't see what's happening around the edges. I've been guilty of it many, many times in ratting. And I'll leave my obligatory picture up here and what happens when you increase that field of view you can see more so of course you get that with these uh, scopes um, and these scopes are absolutely gorgeous now the 5 to 24 is basically the baby brother of the 5 to 30 scope that we've um, had on the site now for the last two to three months so the key feature with this one is because it's a five time zoom um, you can actually get a much bigger eye relief so the eye relief on this scope here is about 45 millimeters about 1.7 inches which means basically you can use this on recoil rifles as well you know up to up to uh, center fire uh, you can use it so uh, 
uh, rimfire, centre fire, and obviously um, recoilless rifles like the air rifles. Of course, you have that eye relief up here of about 45 millimeters. In other words, you're not going to get a black eye. So a lot of people are using these on other than air rifles. Um, they use them on centre rimfires. Uh, lots of success on there. So the five to 24, like I said, it's a 24 objective five times zoom. We just walk around the scope. On the other side is a illuminated reticle with five levels. Now, like the five to 30, the five to 24 comes with two types of reticles. The, what we call the classic mill dot, which is your crosshairs uh, with your mill dots on there. And a lot of people like that because they want to do target shooting and they want the accuracy uh, for the holdovers and the hold unders. But very, very popular for this type of scope is what we call the, the mill dot rapid, or what I'd like to call it really is the snap shooting uh, reticle. Um, and that is absolutely perfect. You're on five times zoom. Let's say you're, you're zoomed out to, uh, you're zeroed in at 20 to 30 meters, let's say 30 meters. And the, the idea is, is a wrap pops up and literally you just lift straight up with that mill dot rapid, put the center circle on your target, squeeze your trigger and away you go. You'll know that if it's slightly further or under, just to lift it up a little bit of hold over and hold under. But it's, I love that reticle. It's really, really good for the barn shooters out there and for the ratters and those stalking around, literally straight up to the shoulder, on target, bang, pull the trigger. Beautiful. So like I said, two reticles, mill dot classic and the uh, mill dot rapid on the five to 24. Let's walk around the rest of the scope. So we've got the objective lens up on here, um, basically, one thing I love about immersive scopes is it's very, very simple. I know it simplest things really, really are the best. There's your lens cap cover there, um, rubber dies, etc. You literally take it off, instead of it flapping around, it's got a little indent and you can put it over the top of the turrets and that's it, nicely stored. The same with the other end as well, is the other end's there, but you can actually pick that up, drop that onto the turrets like so. So they're nicely stored away and you can bundle this up with a little, um, with a little clip on here as well, if you want. Um, it also comes with the 5 to 24, also comes with an eye cup as well. If you want to put that on, then you can. Some people like it, it just easily slots on, on, on and off. Uh, nice and simple. Some people like that, especially when night shooting. Um, the turrets themselves are very, very good turrets. Uh, literally, they are the standard unscrew off the top, and then on the top, very, very defined clicks. Um, and I'll leave all the details, specifications here. Um, very, very good. I've done the old uh, clamp the rifle down, move the crosshairs, click, click, click in a square, and it goes back to center. Define click, very, very well made. The, um, the parallax, or let's just say your focus on here, will go from six, million, uh, from six meters all the way up to infinity. So you can get this thing focused in for very, very close work down to six meters all the way up to infinity, nice and smooth. And it's because of the quality of the glass and the optics in here um, and the field of view you've got, that is extremely good for ranging. It is Bob on accurate. Um, and what comes included in the box as well is uh, that we give you some stickers to go on there, uh, two sets of stickers, so you can set your own range markers on there. Um, extremely good, that's another good thing with the prismatic scopes, really, really good. So like it's big brother, um, the, the, uh, the uh, five to 30, it comes with the mounts, MOA mounts. So these are really, really handy mounts. And again, I'll leave pictures around, but these mounts in the box, you get three of the mounts. You get a long, a medium, and a short one. One will be attached to the scope, but these mounts are really, really simple and clever. Um, underneath here, you'll see like MOA. Now, a lot of people, if you want to get the best out of your scope, you should really zero and have your turrets zeroed to your zero. So in other words, the turrets are in the middle of the adjustment while you're zeroed. But nine times out of 10, that is not possible. And I'm sure we've all had a problem where you've had to lift your scope up and down called shim in the scope, either because you've run out of turret adjustment or you want to get those turrets dead central because of the, the more central the turrets are, the clearer the crosshairs and everything will be. Well, these MOA mounts are absolutely fantastic. They've, uh, they, you have three screws at the bottom and literally you can take the actual scope and just rock it backwards and forwards inside that mount. It grips onto these grips here um, and that saves you from having to shim the scope um, for elevation. Really good. So you get three of those in the box. Um, you can see that actually if I just quickly bring up 
the uh, the 10 to 24. You can see I'm actually using the long one here to give me a lot more reach on, on this impact here. So really, really, really nice scopes. Um, I'm absolutely super impressed with the quality of them as well, as many, many people said. At the back here, if you've got your standard ocular focus at the back here, uh, so you can get crosshairs and everything perfect to yourself. And it is stupidly small. Look at the size of it. Now, the weight of this one without the mounts, and I'm just looking on my crib sheet here, the 5 to 24 uh, is 304 grams without mounts. If you stick the mounts on, obviously it depends which mount you put on it, but it goes up to about 434 um, grams. So really light, really compact, super, super clear quality. Uh, like we said, high quality glass in there, low dispersion ED. Um, so you get really crisp, um, f you know, massive field of view. Um, all the way to the edges, really, really, really nice scope. So absolutely love that. I can see this one going very quickly for rifles like the Ed Gun here or for those smaller bullpups uh, where you want the scope nice and light, absolutely brilliant. But let's move on to the next scope. And the next scope is a lot of people uh, are interested in the immersive optics scopes, but a lot of people want a higher magnification. So what we've got here now is the new 10 to 24. Um, and it is effectively the same as the, the 5 to uh, 24, but obviously it's got a different um, set of glass in it to give you um, higher magnification. Now, the downside to that is when you do go up in magnification, your eye on a prismatic has to come closer. There's a trade-off. You gain magnification, you lose eye relief. You, you increase the eye relief, you lose magnification. So this one is a for recoilless only, for air rifles only. Um, and it's identified the fact that it has this cap in the back that you have to take out, you know, say recoilless only, don't smack yourself in the eye. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same. Beautiful big field of view, 10 times zoom. The same again, same set of turrets on here, um, the same focusing um, down to six meters all the way up to infinity. It also has the same end cap on the end here, which you can just plug over the top just to keep it nice and safe. Absolutely beautiful little scope. This one is, by all accounts, is the world's smallest and most compact and lightest 10 times prismatic scope on the market right now. Uh, this one comes in at 248 grams without mounts. You stick some mounts on it, um, typical mounts on it, then you're looking at 370 grams. Absolutely diddy. And again, uh, reticles, um, we only do these uh, reticles in the mill dots reticles for these, so actually standard crosshair mill dots. Um, and again, five levels of brightness, battery, we include the battery for you, um, set up there and you can change your five level brightness. There's your parallax zoom on there, um, your parallax focusing down there. So absolutely beautiful, beautiful scope. This one comes with standard with the eye cap already attached. You can roll it back or you can take it off if you wish. But remember, this is a zero eye relief scope on here. So for air rifles only, but a lot of people are asking for these. Um, they want higher magnifications. So um, here's one here from the higher magnifications. And again, comes with standard, the 10 to 24 comes with the standard um, uh, MOA mount, adjustable mount on there. Let's go through the boxes that we get. So all of the scopes come in, in these beautiful boxes at the moment, They're absolutely fantastic. Um, inside the boxes you get, uh, let's just go through for you. So you get um, a cleaning cloth and a set of range stickers if you wish to use them. A good manual, I've helped put this manual together, a really, really nice manual. Um, you get three sets of mounts in a box, all fully foamed up. Um, you get your Allen keys that you need. I'll also include a battery in there as well. And of course, you will get the end rubber cap um, for the five to 30, uh, the five to 24 uh, with it as well, if you get that one. But absolutely fantastic scopes. I, you know, like I said, I've been trialing these for some time. They are great. These little baby scopes are great for little rifles like the, uh, for the Ed Gun Leashy. Now, a lot of people ask about reach on here. So basically, if you've got this scope on here, um, this is a 524 with a 45 mil eye relief. You've got to measure your eye relief and see where you are. Now, I like to, creep into my rifle and go into my rifle. A lot of people like to come back, so you may need to find some other mounts for it, depends, but check it out. Um, they're nice and simple, easy, beautiful scopes, well made. Well, I also want to answer a few questions because I do get asked a lot of questions about these scopes. Um, so a lot of people are saying, 
Um, these are just a knockoff, a copy of another scope, a well-known scope out there. And you all know who I mean by that. Um, no, they're not is the simple answer. Um, they have actually come from the design factory. The likes of the big companies, and I won't name the names, but the big companies out there that you see, they don't design their own scopes. They come from two or three design teams um, dotted around the world. Um, and these scopes were designed, but they were never taken up for production by the larger companies. So they sat on the shelf. So the design team decided, right, basically well, we're marketing ourselves as immersive optics. They are from the same factories, the same build, the same designers, everything. And because of they've actually released them themselves and they're not releasing them through a massive great big company, then they do not have all of the overheads to come in, which is why these scopes are coming in at a stupidly remarkable cheap price. For example, the 5 to 24 is 236 pounds. That's for the 5 to 24. If we take a look at this bad boy here, the 10 to 24, its nearest competitor, and I'm sure you know what it is, is 380 pounds. This is coming in at 226 pounds. So you're getting the same quality, same CNC, same glass, same designer, just models that never went to market but are now being brought to market independently by immersive optics. So really, really good. That's also then it hopefully explains one the price of it and it explains why you probably never heard of immersive optics. It's a true designs, um, immersive optics, absolutely fantastic. Um, are they made in China? Yes. Most scopes that you buy nowadays are made in China. Um, you know, take a look at Cyclops' channel. He does a lot of scope reviews. Brilliant, brilliant guy. Brilliant channel. I think he did a video on it, and I think every scope he went through, you know, something like 85 of the scopes he listed were all made in China. So yes, they are made in China. However, they're shipped from the UK. We keep stock in the UK, and there is a three-year warranty. So if you do have a problem, then contact us, and we'll send a replacement out or whatever it is that needs to be done to solve the problem for you. What's my connection with this? Am I biased? Yes, I am. Steve is a biased a little bit. Um, I am a reseller for these now. Um, I've been working with Immersive Optics for the last six to eight months, field trialing these scopes, checking them all out, seeing them, what they're like, etc. There will be other resellers that will be selling them, but I'm getting first dibs on all of the new scopes uh, because I've been checking them all out. I do have skin in the game, etc. And of course, yes, I am selling them off on the website, but I put my research into this. Um, and I think I've been proved positive with this because of the five to 30 scopes we released. Uh, two months ago. The people that have had them have said they're just fantastic. They're just as good as the other brands, if not better, and of course, a lot, lot cheaper, which basically hopefully says what I'm telling you is true. I'm being upfront with you. Yes, I am selling these, but I do think these are cracking, cracking little scopes. And for the price, yeah, you can't miss them out. You, they really can't. Um, now, ideally, this one here, the 5 to 24, would be better on a ballpark, but I've used the long rail here just to show you how you could use the rail uh, to bring it back. Um, but it's titchy, it's small, it's great. Um, but this would fit beautifully on a small ballpark on here, but I unfortunately I don't have one at hand at the moment. Um, I also get asked, can you use these with NV uh, 007s, the pards, night sights? Yes, you can. Um, there are people that have done them. Now with the longer eye relief one, for example, the 5 to 24, uh, you have a 40 mil eye relief. So when you put the pad on, you've got to get the right adapter for the right size tube and get the distance right. But you remember the pad is always 1.5 magnification. So it does work, but you're not going to get the full effect of the field of view. I've tried it myself. Um, it, it can be done, uh, but you do have to get the right adapter, get it at the right distance, but you're never going to get the full um, field of view that you would get if you're looking for it. It's just the way that the PARD 7 works. But um, anyway, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you like these scopes. See, I'm, I'm trying to keep my excitement down. I think these are cracking scopes. Um, like I said, I've been playing with these for a good six, seven months, maybe longer, doing some field trials of them, and we're slowly releasing them out. These are now available on the Egonology website. Um, you can check them out there. Full details will be there for you. And um, yeah, I think these are brilliant. These are just perfect little scopes for the small ball pups up there. Doesn't put massive amounts of weight over your rifle. Keeps the weight backwards instead of forwards. We've all seen people with ball pup rifles with scopes this long on them. Looks silly. 
absolutely beautiful straight up and my personal choice out of these is the 5 to 24 rapid mill dot it's just up click bang beautiful absolutely fantastic so i'd love to know your thoughts and comments i know some of you guys already got hold of one of the immersive optics 5 to 30 scopes i'd love to know what you think about them can you let people know what the quality of them is like because of um you know a lot of people you know are very dubious at times of a brand new company that suddenly hits the market but um yeah they're absolutely great and um catch you on the next video Bye.